Beam down smoke. Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be talking about something a little bit older and that is the All-Stars 2016 investments from MLG Columbus 2016. But before we get to that, let's take a quick look at swap.gg. So that's going to be swap.gg. They do have PayPal deposits enabled on their site, which is a very rare thing in this day and age with the third-party marketplaces. If you want to go ahead and check out swap.gg, be sure to use my link in the description below. It does support the channel directly. And with that being said, let's get straight into this video. So the MLG 2016 Columbus tournament was actually different than a lot of the tournaments before it because it actually had an all-star show match attached to the tournament itself between North America and Europe. These both had very huge superstar players on the teams, such as Get Right, Simple, Shroud, Skadoodle, all of these huge names in CSGO, and the show match took place with North America being the winners. Now the interesting thing about the show match was that it actually featured special souvenir items for the show match specifically that you could get out of regular containers that you would a regular souvenir package. These containers featured special signatures from the players that were actually competing in the All-Stars tournaments, but that's actually not the interesting thing about these items. The interesting thing about these items is that they actually featured specific, special, and unique stickers that no other item has ever possessed after this tournament or before this tournament, and these are the All-Stars Hollows. The interesting thing here with these souvenir items is that there were actually two different All-Stars Hollows that were applied to the weapons, one of them being blue and the other one being orange. These were both applied to the same weapon in place of the regular team stickers that would usually be applied on souvenir items, and then there were also two other stickers applied to these souvenir items, that being the MLG 2016 gold foil, and of course the signature of the player of the MVP of that round. Another pretty interesting thing about these souvenirs is that they were from a time where a lot of players that have now retired still played CSGO. For example, you can actually get a Shroud signature item here, which is a pretty big rarity. Another interesting fact about these items is that the player featured on the signature for the items is actually going to also influence the value. For example, Simple being probably one of the biggest superstars in CSGO of all time, and probably one of the most famous CSGO players of all time, is actually going to influence the value of these items despite his signature being just as rare as any other. This is the most accurate MVP leaderboard I was able to find for the match, but unfortunately on the VODs of the match, the MVP leaderboard board for the vinyl end of the game is actually missing, however this does account for most of the rounds in the game, so it should give a pretty good idea of the rarity for signatures for this game. Also keep in mind that this was a one map game and it occurred on Nuke, and there were a total of 41 rounds. This means that the only items you can obtain from the MLG 2016 tournament that actually have the All-Stars Hollows on them are going to be from the Nuke collection which is now up on screen. As you can probably tell, the purples and blues out of this case are exceedingly rare, but this is only out of 100 cases, so take that in mind when you are analyzing these numbers. What that means is, investing in these All-Stars items is going to not only cost more if you are going for a blue or purple item, but it's also going to be a better idea simply for the long term just because these items are so dang rare. Now how about these items as actual investment potential specifically? Well, the interesting thing here is that Nuke was actually only played for the All-Stars map out of this entire MLG to Columbus 2016 tournament, which means that the MLG to Columbus 2016 Nuke souvenirs are only going to be occurring for these All-Stars items. That said, you can get MLG 2016 16 Columbus items for other maps, but the only one that has the original nuke skins is going to be for the All-Stars match itself. This is also why the MLG Columbus 2016 nuke package is more expensive than other nuke packages from other tournaments. Another nice thing about this investment is that it features cheap skins and also expensive skins, so it kind of meets that entire wide range of investors that want to buy expensive items but also cheap items. I would say if you're looking to invest in this collection itself, I would definitely go for M4A for radiation hazards because while they are still pretty expensive, fetching around $120 for a MLG Columbus 2016 All-Stars Radiation Hazard M4A4, but even though they're so expensive, I would still say they are an incredible investment simply because not only are they an M4A4, but they're also a very rare souvenir. It's actually kind of hard to find accurate price data for these items. Looking on sites, you're going to be able to pick up an M4A4 Radiation Hazard All-Stars for about $120 on CS.Money, for example, and of course similar prices for other sites as well. As for the purple items, that's actually really hard to tell. Looking on Buff, I was able to find one field-tested Tech 9 souvenir from this actual collection that was up for 9,999 yuan, which is about $1,000 
1,400 USD. What's odd though is that looking at the P250s on buff, there was one that actually was a 2016 Souvenir All-Stars game, P250 in Souvenir field tested condition, and the P250 was actually up for 500 yuan, which is only $70 or so in USD. To me that seems exceedingly low for this item, and it's a little weird why the P250 was so much cheaper than the Tech 9 despite being pretty much just as rare, so I'm still a little confused on that itself. As for the M4A4, the cheapest one I was able to find on buff was around 650 yuan, which is around 91 USD. It's a little weird to me why the P250 was so cheap in regards to how expensive the M4A4 is, so I would recommend checking out the P250 potentially, it does seem to be a very rare and also very cheap item. As for the other items in this collection, the greys, those are going to go for about $2, that's what I was able to find them for on CS Money at least, and as for the light blues in this collection, those ones are probably worth around $5 to $10 in that kind of range, depending on the weapon itself. Keep in mind though that this price data is pretty inaccurate, simply because it's really hard to find accurate prices for items that are so rare, so kind of take this with a grain of salt. Anyway, if you're looking to invest in these items, I would recommend it absolutely. These items are very rare, and while their price is going to be a slow moving one, just like the previous video we talked about with the float caps, these are items that also have a very rare sticker on them, something that you're not going to be able to find on any other souvenir ever, which means that these items are going to have a unique quality on them that isn't going to be matched by other items in the future. I would say this is a pretty good indicator of these items being a safe investment just because of how exceedingly rare they actually are. You can get some of the lower tier ones for cheap and you can get some of the higher tier ones for actually not that bad of prices as we said with the P250. So if you are looking to buy into one of these items, I would recommend it. It is going to apply to a wide range of investors and it is something that you can kind of count on being a good move for the future. The stickers themselves are also very unique and they do look pretty good in their own right, so that is another factor for buying these items. They do look pretty good as playskins. Anyway, that's how I feel about these items. I think they are a very unique and very interesting investment that you can use to really spice up your investment portfolio. If you are interested in picking one of these up, of course, you can go check out the multiple marketplaces out there to try and find the best price, and of course, check out market.swap.gg, which is also going to be a great site to check out skins, even if you aren't being able to find one of these items. If you want to check out swap.gg, that's going to be with the link in the description below that is going to support the channel directly, and thank you for using it if you decide to. Anyway, thank you guys for checking out this video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like below, and consider subscribing to the channel if you want the latest and greatest investment tips for CSGO anywhere else on YouTube. If you're also interested, you can check out the Discord, Reddit, and Twitter below. Those are all going to be great resources for improving your investment knowledge in a community. I'll catch you all in the next video. Be sure to leave a comment below letting me know what you think of these investments, if they're going to be good or bad, and I will see you all next time. Peace.